Hello and welcome to the Lost Rewatch. It continues. It's going strong. We're in season two. And today I'm joined by Chip and Sarah Mims. How's it going, guys? It's awesome. Go it's going great. Yeah, we're so excited. Uh, it's our first time on Crazy Hank TV. So uh, the fact that you can't see me is, is it's like comedy your, gold. Your arm looks great. Uh, look at that. Look, look at the strength of this thing. <laughs> it's amazing. It kind of looks like Popeye did a little bit. I do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you for having us on. Uh, you may recall that we're kind of fans of Lost. Yes, that's what I, I you know, we, this is what we're doing here is each week we're trying to get different people to give their Lost experience and talk about different episodes. And I think we have two great episodes today. Oh, oh yeah. they are great. I, I wow. really, I forgot how, how good one of them was, but we'll get to that when we get there. But well, as always, when we first start out, we, we like to talk about how you got into Lost. What, how was, did you watch it right away? Did you? Was it from a friend or but go ahead and tell your story, how you guys got into Lost? Oh, we, we watched the very pi first episode, the pilot live on TV and uh, loved it. And we're hooked like right away. Yeah. That pilot is just still, uh, I'd put that against two hours of TV that's ever been on. It's just that good. It was so good. It reminded me of watching Star Wars the very first time. Wow. Wow. And that's Star Wars, the original that's called Star Wars. It's not called A New Hope. It's called Star Wars. Stop yeah. changing the title. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, when, 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 it's funny because because I always remembered it as Star Wars, too. And then all of a sudden it was like later on, it's New Hope. I go, was it always A New Hope? I don't know. But no, I, <laughs> that's high praise because it, for for a TV show to compete with, you know, you, you have a, a New Hope. Well, Star Wars <laughs> changed the way we we watch movies. Yes, and, and this, and you could say the same thing for Lost. Yeah. Yes, uh, I, I think a lot of people. I mean, when you guys uh, did the original uh, Lost podcast, which I, I guess maybe will come back when Disney re revivifies uh, Lost at some point. It might. Uh, cinemat <laughs> cinematic is just the word that I use for uh, the pilot. It's just, it's like you're watching a movie, and I can still remember back in what was it oh four, yeah, uh, when they started. Just thinking, I've never seen anything like this on a television. It was that that amazing. So thanks for letting us uh, geek out on it. Oh, no problem. Because um, uh, we, well, you, if, if people don't know, you live in the Raleigh area. We both live in yeah. Raleigh, and uh, um, you were at the um, the grand finale, lost finale party. Out we were. Four of you in Los Angeles, and it's funny because it's 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 I don't know coincidence that we both were from Raleigh. We both rented cars. <laughs> And we both rented convertible Mustangs. Yes, yes, that was it. Was really exciting, and we were staying at the same hotel. Staying at so, the same hotel, yes. And we so it worked out. That the, Mustang, <laughs> the Mustangs were the same color. They <laughs> yeah. were probably the same model year. Uh, I'm right. sure they we, were rentals because we got them at the Hertz down there at LAX. Yeah, and uh, I can remember how excited we were to go down to the. It was the Orpheum, right? Um, it was the Orpheum, yes. The theater. Uh, we went downstairs and I walked over to the, um, valet guy and I'm like, yeah, here's my, uh, my stub. Oh, yes, sir. Just a minute. And a minute, a couple minutes, five minutes. I'm like, God, this is, I'm looking at my watch. I'm like, how long is this going to take? I, this thing, they're not going to wait for me. Uh, <laughs> and the guy comes over and he's like, oh, sir, we're, we're looking for your car. And I'm like, well, we're kind of in a hurry here. This this thing's happening. And Sarah, you, you remember, like, he goes and huddles over with, like, the manager. And yeah. the, the manager comes over. Oh, sir, we're so sorry. That you, we gave your car to someone else. It's the same <laughs> make and model. And we're like, okay, well, give us their car. Oh, we can't do that, sir. Uh, <laughs> I'm like, well, what do you, we got to, you know, we got to go to the Orpheum. So um, we badgered him into uh, taking us down there. So, like, the valet guy just got in his car and drove us down and dropped us off. And we had, you know, you were there, you, you were the, you and uh, Jay are the MCs. Absolutely. One of the best times I've ever had uh, with a TV show was watching the finale with everybody in the Orpheum. Yeah. Oh, it was great. Yeah. And, and then we, uh, we were able to uh, get the hotel to come pick us up. Uh, Cause our car still hadn't got back and we were like, oh, I wonder where the damn car is. And <laughs> someone's, out, someone's out on a joy, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, yeah, Ferris Bueller's they're just flying in their Ferrari over the top of the hill and right. in our car. And Didn't they just drive up. 
I believe that when we got there, we uh, we saw who stole the car. It was it was <laughs> the Glatfelters had taken our car? Yeah, I, I just think that's because again, from Raleigh, <laughs> and and I did, I, I did, I did know. I, I think the interior was a little different, maybe. And I yep. kept, I kept going, but we, I was in a hurry, sure, because, because all the girls were getting their hair done. <laughs> uh, Global Cash Card had, let, you know, Colleen, my daughters, Cindy got their hair done and right. I'm like, can we get this? I have to be down there. Let's go. Let's go. I, you know, so when I, I gave the, I, I think I called down ahead and said, Hey, can you get my car ready? Uh. And, and so when I ran down there, they just came, they came and gave it to me and we jumped in and I, and I ran and, you know, race getting there. So to be fair to me, I was, it, <laughs> I, I blame Cindy and the girls getting their hair done. Because well, obviously, obviously I didn't need to, I didn't need to get my hair done. <laughs> but I, I, it's, it's it's one of my favorite stories because it's just what are the odds? Really, <laughs> both cars would be, that, that we would take your car <laughs> of all the three thousand people that showed up for the thing. <laughs> yeah. and we uh, knew, and we and we knew each other. That was another yeah. thing that was funny. And anyway, but it, it I mean, because I remember when I came back the guy comes around to me. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I go what <laughs> about what? I, he, goes, <laughs> he goes. I go. Oh, I go. Okay. I, I didn't, I wasn't concerned about it because I was able to, you know, I didn't have to go through it. You guys had to, but anyway, I just, it's a funny story. And I, I just, <laughs> it, makes your, me, it makes me laugh every time. Oh my gosh. It reminds me of that story that uh, Damon and Carlton, uh, when they did their official loss podcast, uh, where Damon and Carlton met each other when Damon was just a kid because they were at uh, some screening that Damon was working with George Lucas and his, uh, or no, Carlton was working with George Lucas. Damon's dad took him to see like a star Wars thing. One of the nineties, I think, or maybe it was Jedi. Maybe it was not. Anyway. Uh, and they actually met each other and it was like this weird coincidence thing. So I view this as a weird coincidence thing. Well, let me, t let me say how we got onto listening to Jay and Jack the lost podcast. Uh -huh. We, as you said, live in Raleigh and right around the beginning of lost, we bought a, a little house down at the beach about three hours from here. And we had just started listening to podcasts. And uh, then this lost show came on and Chip started looking around for a good podcast. And we got this lost podcast all we all we found was you. So yeah, yeah. I, I, it, was a, it was a struggle. I mean, I, I understand. <laughs> we never found a good one, but you know, you guys were okay. <laughs> and so, three hours every week driving down to the beach, we'd be listening to your podcast, and um, and then somewhere along the way, it was you guys said you were from Raleigh. I don't think we knew it initially. Well, I think it just it came up. Like I don't know, midway through your first season, that you well, no, Jay always said from Raleigh, North Carolina. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's yeah. true. Yeah, yeah, with the, with the with the high voice. From Raleigh, from Raleigh, North Carolina. <laughs> <laughs> Jay, I hope you're listening yeah. <laughs> or watching. There's my arm. There's my arm. Okay. <laughs> okay, so uh, and and I gotta say, I was telling uh, my buddy Charlie at work that we were gonna be doing YouTube today, and uh, I think. Uh, He's like, well, you know, what's all that about? And I said, well, uh, our buddy Jack, uh, who got us into podcasting. I mean, if it weren't for the Lost Podcast with Jay and Jack, we would not have become podcasters. That's true. Yeah. So, be, so be me. I was going to say, so it's your fault. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, we get we that. Have, we get that a lot. And I always wonder, is it a because people go? Well, I always think that people go. You inspired me to do my. I said because you figured, well, we could do it. You could do it. So. <laughs> Well, hell, anybody can do this. Yeah, well, it's, it's, I never knew how much work it was until we started doing it. So my hat's off to you guys. You've done a great job over the years. Well, Jay did most of it. But, yeah. That's your. If you hear noise, that's my garage opening up. Uh, oh, okay. Oh. We're, we're, the world's not ending, but yeah, I have to give Jay the, the credit for that. He did most of the technical stuff, as you saw in the beginning. Well, nobody else saw it, but we were having little struggles in the beginning just with feedback and headphones and all that fun stuff and i'm fine as long as everything's working but the minute something stops working <laughs> I, I know how you feel i'm like ah, i can't take it but yeah, no we, we had go ahead go ahead 
Now, I was just going to say, we, uh, we've struggled over the years with stuff like that. And when we actually had uh, the opportunity to talk to the, uh, we did a podcast about the Americans on FX. Mm -hmm. We got an opportunity to talk to the showrunners one time and, but it wasn't a normal, we couldn't do it over Skype or the internet because one of them was in LA and one of them was in New York. So we had to like do a call in number and I, I'm like, well, okay, I got to figure this out on the fly. Cause I've got, you know, these are important people and they've got 20 minutes and that's your time. And right up until the very last second, I ended up having to pull my iPhone out and connect things to my iPhone to get us to be able to call in. Cause the computer wasn't working. So I know <laughs> the stress of like, the computer's not working. What do you yeah. do? Yeah. That That's always the way. I mean, yeah. it's always the way. That's one time when we had, uh, I know I told the story before, but we did the Autism Speaks uh, po uh, charity thing and and telethon. And the first year we had Daniel Day Kim lined up. Yeah. And we were on Talk Show and Talk Show quit. So I'm on MySpace messaging back and forth with him. That's how that long is it was. Old. And going back and forth, like, I'm sorry, we just it's it's not coming back on. Oh, uh, so I remember people had problems with talk shoe. That was yeah. not a, not the best app. No, it's it's not. I, I used it recently for a baseball draft, but um, other than that, I don't I don't use it for podcasting anymore. Right. I've moved on to Streamyard, which is pretty. It's a pretty good system, actually. Colleen found it, so it's it's pretty good. Uh, works pretty well most of the time. I'm sorry, uh, breaking up. I'm sorry. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I thought you were serious there for a second. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> no, not again. Well, before it does uh, crap out on us here, uh, we have two episodes to talk about Long Con and Raised by, not Raised by Another. Um, one of us. One of, one of, one one of, of them. Us. One of them. One, one of them. Um, one. Start with the Long Con. What did you guys think of the Long Con? Looking back on it now. Sarah, what was your first talk uh, take on that Sawyer being bad boy Sawyer? I I liked it because the the uh, the way that he ended the the con with Cassidy mm -hmm. and um, it just was so different, such a surprise. I did not expect that. Yeah, I think initially, um, you know, it's called the long con, and she wants to be on a long con, and it takes you or even rewatching it. It took me you know twenty minutes to figure oh. He's doing a long con on her. Right. Yeah. And uh, that was uh, at the same time, there's this con going on between Locke and, and Jack with the the guns and everything and uh, uh, and Sawyer. I mean, it was just, uh, I love the way they juxtapose those two stories in this well, episode. Saw, Sawyer and Charlie con. And Charlie, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think with, with poor son. They did a lot of parallels in this show. Yeah. Not just this particular episode, but right. a lot of parallels yeah and uh anytime we can see uh, i love kim dickens she's a great actress uh seeing her again uh was just it was a lot of fun i mean um what was your uh what was your initial reaction seeing it again jack what's well, funny is it's uh, when i was watching it again i go god i remember how great this was the first time mm. because you, d you didn't pick up on things like i said the 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 charlie being involved in it i never saw Mm -hmm. I, I I know we. I, it's funny because going back when Jay and I were podcasting about, we'd see the previews and we saw. And I jokingly said, "Oh, Charlie did it." <laughs> I, I just made a joke like that, and so another podcast picked up on it and said, "Hey, he was right." I go, and I had to be. I go, no, I, seriously, I was just joking. I just he was like the least likely, you know, <laughs> earlier, you know, Charlie. I was just like, and I was always upset, you know, that it was Charlie that that did it. You know, it's like, yeah, you, you, you want to love Charlie. And like I said last week, the, the episode um, Fire Plus Water, I didn't like it because mm. Charlie is, I felt mistreated in the episode. I, right. I, I just, it's it's hard to watch because I love Charlie and seeing Charlie. So this, if, if this would have been before, I might have liked Fire and Water better because Charlie's kind of becoming a jerk. Yes, mm. definitely. So, well, so, and all of this is then this kind of reaction to uh, the death of uh, was it Shannon? Shannon, oh, that, was, that was that was Saeed. I know, You're, but yeah. I think everybody was reeling from that. Uh, true, because they talked about it. Yeah, yep, yeah. I thought uh, Charlie is just you know that's kind of his descent, right? It's really you're right, starting right. to see uh, he's being mean just to be mean. 
yes. just because somebody ticked him off. And it's like, well, okay, fine. And that he would do something, I mean, physically brutal to son like that uh, just really takes him down a couple notches. Well, he's bl blaming Locke for his problems, and, and Locke does cause a lot of problems on the island, but this is he, he has no one to blame but himself. Yeah. Exactly. He got caught in a couple lies, and, you know, Claire, you know, she's got to protect her baby, so – our baby. So <laughs> I can't do I can't do it as well as Jay, but well, uh, Jay's got the high voice for it. He does, um, yeah. but I do also this episode too. It's because even season two, there's more. They I forgot when I and I've done a couple of rewatches, but you forget after so many years that the tension between Jack and John really starts building up. Oh yeah, in season two and and the the next two episodes it really takes over because you have Jack ask Locke for the combo and Locke just goes hmm. He like hesitates and he goes, "Are you not going to give me the combo?" And he goes, "Well, you are going to tell me about your army you're you're forming, right? <laughs> right, exactly. So it's and, and you kind of see, I go, well, you know, I kind of see Locke's point. Sure, sure. Jack's been very, and I'm not sure. Uh, as we know, you know, in retrospect, they didn't quite know where they were going because they didn't know how long they were going to have, and so they were just throwing all these new characters in, and um, the whole storyline with Anna Lucia, and then all of a sudden that gets. Can we talk about spoilery things or, or yeah, yeah, you, yeah, it's been long enough. You can talk about it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> 10 years, 10 years is enough. Yes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, the, the whole thing where, uh, you know, the actress gets a DUI and then she's off the show and that whole storyline just kind of falls apart. Um, this I think was supposed to be a lot bigger than it ended up being the whole forming an army. Uh, and then they it, didn't it, really it, know it, where they were going. Yeah. Cause the army thing just dropped. Yeah. 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 Kind of like Paolo and Nikki just dropped. Yeah. I never understood, and I've said this a hundred times. I think I said it last week. I never understood why they didn't ask Saeed. Exactly. I mean, I know he's he's in mourning and he's not a lot of fun to be around right now, but he he was in the military. Yeah. Right. Right. Was he even in this episode? Uh, in uh, tangentially, I think. Yeah. Yeah, because the next episode is all about him. All about him. Yeah. Well, the the other thing is, I think about this episode is you really see Kate playing uh, so, um, Sawyer against uh, J Jack. Yeah. But, but Sawyer's playing all of them against each other too. Right. That's, that's the long con that's happening on the Island, which I loved. Yeah. So, Kate, uh, Kate thought, like you said, uh, Sarah, Kate thought she was the one controlling the, uh, controlling the thing, but it yeah. was, it was, it was, there's so much going on in this episode but <laughs> Sawyer, like you said, Sawyer was the one pulling the strings. It wasn't Kate or Jack right. or Rock. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It was, uh, and uh, like I said at the outset, I love how they weave the two together. A lot of times, I think uh, the backstory doesn't always uh, complement the main story. Uh, but th those flashbacks were just uh, really, really nicely interwoven with what's going on on the island on this episode. And I, I just saw, I, I forgot that, yes, yeah, Sa Saeed is in this episode, but with Hurley. Right. And they're doing the radio right. thing. That's yes. right. That's true. Yes. <clears throat> but I like how Cassidy, because we've seen Sawyer pull the con where he lifts up the money and it falls out. And and she knows right away, look, it's it's not a con. You know, I I, I know you're trying to con me. And so they, they go, in, so she goes down that road where she says, no, I don't have 600. You know, I don't have a lot of money. I only... So I, I did like how that was going on too, which set up the whole long con. Yeah, I loved I loved that uh, Sawyer had done his homework enough where he knew she was lying the whole time and was just, you know, that you can see my hand on the video. He yeah, was reeling, <laughs> just reeling her in there. <laughs> the whole thing with his his uh, his friend uh, was it wasn't Gorby. What was the Gordy. name? Of his? Gordy. Gordy. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if he's a friend. Yeah, I don't I know if he's a friend, him. but. Uh... A uh, coworker, coworker, yeah. <laughs> a coworker that will kill you if you don't uh, go through the plan. That's right. That's right. So here, here's a duffel bag. You run over to the Roach, Roach Motel, and uh, I'll be there soon. And, Do you uh, think you think you think Sawyer was conning him too? Oh yeah, I think I think he was conning everybody in this episode. He was probably conning us somehow, and we haven't realized it yet. <laughs> Well, uh, so you mentioned Saeed uh, with Hurley. Uh, Saeed, Hurley comes over there, tries to cheer him up. You know, he offers a radio, and he goes, "Just trying to cheer you up, dude." And Saeed yeah. just does, is just not 
He's yeah. still he's still devastated by the death of uh, Shannon. Shannon. Yeah. Now uh, r- remind me, uh, was it at the very end they got the radio to work and they heard the Glenn Miller stuff? Yeah. Yeah. That was this episode, right? Yeah, it was this yeah. episode. So I think that I can't remember, but I think it's the first time that they've introduced just really in a small way, the idea of time travel, because uh, I I think Hurley's like, uh, yeah, it's from uh, another place, maybe another time. Yeah. It and, was the first time they introduced. It. And right. I think yeah. I remember reading uh, a couple of years later that Damon or Carlton one was doing an interview and confirmed, Oh yeah, that would, that was a time travel radio thing. Uh, well, cause so her, cause Hurley says, had, yeah, just kidding, dude. Right. Right. But he, but Hurley was wrong. He wasn't kidding. No, Maybe I think, I, I, con I, on us. I'm trying to remember, but I think there were a lot of theories came out from that. There was a lot of people thinking that that was there was time travel that they were trying to misdirection. All that it, it, trying to think back to all the. I mean, there's so many theories out there and lost, but some mm-hmm. some are just like, yeah, I kind of remember something like that. I also like how Anna Lucia. They set Anna Lucia up as the one that could could possibly. Have, uh, attack son because she says, you know, your group feels safe. They don't, you know, they don't feel the need to get an army that she, cause they're having trouble getting uh, people, you know, to sign up because they're just waiting to be rescued. Yeah. That was a nice misdirection. I think um, because yeah. you really could see her. I mean, she did kill Shannon, right? So yeah, you're like, yeah. she's capable of anything. And we already have the feeling, I think in this episode that she's, attracted to uh foxy or uh, w- would you say attracted to uh jack or would you think it's just more of their kindred souls to try to protect themselves i think she's attracted to him yeah yeah, yeah. like most girls <laughs> yeah I would, I would i would probably say so yeah but also i think there's friction between her and kate no doubt and she likes i think she likes to rub it in kate's face too yeah well kate sometimes invites that uh, she may be super Kate to us, but uh, on the <laughs> island, she was not always viewed as super Kate. No, she wasn't. In fact, the last the episode before this, where she was really not super Kate. Right. Um, but we see Sun working on her garden. You hear this ruffling, you know, everything's going on. And and out pops Vincent. So you're thinking, okay, it's, it's just Vincent. But no, then someone pulls a bag over her head. And yeah. And yeah. And you're that's... thinking, oh my God, it's the others, right? They're, right. they're getting somebody else. And. I like the detective work that um, I guess it's uh, Sawyer and Kate do to right, try to right. figure out that, okay, this hood's not the same kind that we've seen before and the others never leave trails and there's a trail here. Yeah. Um, and and I, I thought that that was uh, obviously it's still part of the, it's his long con against Kate right now. Right. We don't, we don't know that, but um, do you think he directed Charlie to make a mess of it and to have things off like that? Or was it just luck that Charlie I, did that? I, 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 I'm just, I, guessing, I'm just guessing. guessing. I'm getting feedback. Feedback. I'm just guessing I, it was more uh, uh, Charlie just being Charlie. I don't think they they even plan. I don't think they planned it out. Okay. I don't know why he. I don't know why he had to knock her out. Yeah, that that would seem unnecessary, especially because he'd already tied her up. Right, tied her up and just you know, and could have just left her. Could have left her. Plus, you don't know hitting someone in the head what that's going to do. Right. Well, Char- Charlie's working with a bag of rocks in his brain at this stage of the show. I think he is. Again, going back, <laughs> going back to Charlie, it's like, and especially Son, who's who's probably one of the nicer people on the island. Yes. Mm-hmm. It'd be different if he did it to Sawyer, right? Sure. Of course, Sawyer was part we, of. We might enjoy that. <laughs> well, I mean, I thought it was interesting. Sawyer offered him uh, one of the. Uh, statues that had his drugs in it, uh, the Virgin Mary statues, and he yeah. turned it down. That's yeah. true. Of course, I think he could have. Uh, doesn't he say I could have? I could have taken that already. I don't need it from you. Right. Uh, if I wanted it, I would have taken it. Right. Right. I do like that. John didn't think the others were involved with it. He said they told us that we'd, they'd leave us alone as long as we stayed on our side. Yeah, why, yeah. Why, why do you think he's that trusting of them, uh, given given the situation that they're in right now? I think there's times where John is, is rational, that he's he sits there and, and thinks things out. 
and then there's times he doesn't. Whereas Jack just gets worked up right away. He's he wants revenge. He wants he, I, I'm I, you know I gotta I gotta make this right. You know they they attacked us. They said they wouldn't. He was still ticked off from. I don't think Jack was happy. To give up his guns the first time. Right. So right. Whereas, whereas Locke was kind of like, all right, they got us. Let's you know let's go back. We'll, we'll, they leave us alone. We'll leave them alone. But but Locke is is more. Sen- it's funny how sometimes they portray Locke as this this smart, sensible guy. Another time he's just he's not. I guess it's just the way his what what's going on that day on the island. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, he's uh, uh, as they say in Star Wars, not entirely stable. Locke. No, he's not. Yeah. And, and, but but neither is Jack. True. So you True. have your t- your two leaders are probably the most. Uh, the times they just don't think kind of erratic almost. Right. That's why you, yeah. you know, and again, they're, they're put in a situation where, you know, they're not who, who would be ready for that type of situation. Yeah. You know, sure. Smoke. But ego is really, ego's really get in the way. They oh do. my gosh. Yeah. The I mean, whole man of science, man of faith thing. Well, Jack wants to be right. Locke wants to be right. Everybody else be damned. <laughs> True. Yeah, that's exactly how they are. And then uh, we have Kate, because now Sawyer's planted the uh, that it could be Anna Lucia. And you're thinking, right. I remember the first time watching, I go, it could be Anna Lucia. Because I'm thinking, yeah. okay, you know, do who is she? Um, so Sawyer, you know, Kate goes and talks to Jack about Anna Lucia. And of course, now she's putting, now Jack's thinking, you know, maybe it is Anna Lucia. Yeah, that, that, that's a nice seed of doubt. Uh, who knows what kind of wedge that could drive? Hmm. <laughs> and Jack even asked her, where were you this morning? He goes, I was all over the place. Where were you in the morning? <laughs> just, right, right. Yeah. yeah. So she's no, she's not answering the questions. She, you know, she's, no, she's kind of evasive, and it makes you wonder what's going on with her. And that uh, that goes back to your saying, well, maybe she did do it. Right. Because she's not, she's not being forthright with him right here. Because she did say that before the, he questioned her, yeah, we got two new recruits, Scott and you know, she said Scott or Steve, and uh, it's and he he corrected her said no, Steve's dead or what? I, to be honest with you, I, I get so confused with that. <laughs> I don't know who's dead. Too. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know who's dead or alive, but uh, uh, yeah. I just I just like how the, the the writers did a good job of stringing this along and saying, okay, they're not gonna, they're not giving us the answers yet. Yeah. Yeah. It almost reminds me, we saw a movie recently called Knives Out. Mm-hmm. Uh, it, it's kind of like a, a clue slash murder on the Orient Express kind of thing with a lot of different uh, pr- pretty well-known actors. Daniel Craig's like the Southern detective guy. He's, just, he's, he's really good. And the thing is, uh, for most of the movie, you're, you're anybody's a suspect. So you don't really trust anybody. And I think the folks on the island are still – we're season and a half into the show we're middle of season two uh there's a lot of trust issues on the island there are but well in their, in their time it's only been what 60 or 70 days right right exactly and yeah. everything that's happened and like you like you said sarah the egos you know kate has an ego sawyer has an ego jack and Locke have egos uh yeah saeed has an ego i mean everyone seems a lot of people on this island have an ego. The only one that doesn't have an ego, I think, is Hurley. Yeah, yep. Hurley, Hurley's us. Yeah, I, I would agree with that. Yeah. Uh, but now Jin wants a gun. He, he he wants a gun to protect Sun because Sun doesn't remember what happened. She didn't see anything. Charlie did a good job of you know sneaking up on her. Um, At this point, we don't know. We don't know Jin's complete background with the uh, his father-in-law and his abilities with. Uh, He's not a simple fisherman, right? We have have we learned that at this point that that he's got this criminal background. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. But you also have Kate tell Sawyer that Anna Lucia wants the gun. She's coming for the guns because there's that great scene where where Kate's staring and Anna Lucia turns back and stares at her, and they're both eyeballing each other. Yeah. So mm-hmm. now, so now she's telling, you know, but that's what that's exactly what Sawyer wanted. Yep. Yeah. 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 Turn them against each other, and the mistrust. He's just sowing the seeds of mistrust. Uh, <laughs> makes it easier for him to get what he wants. Yep. Then we find out that Cassidy. Version. Yeah. Cassidy yeah. does have six hundred thousand dollars. Right. I can't. I can't take this from you. Blah blah blah. He's just. I want to be in part of the long con. I. 
you know, he goes, why don't we just go, you know, to Tahiti and uh, sip Mai Tais or whatever. I forget the drink, mojitos or whatever, whatever the drink yeah. was. Yeah. Um, you know, really, I, why, why couldn't you do that? <laughs> well, his life would have turned out a lot better. Well, I thought it was interesting <laughs> when at the very end of that con, he looks at the picture of the two of them, Cassidy and Sawyer, together in this really loving picture, and he just turns it over. Yeah, just flips yeah. it down. He can't be happy. <laughs> no, because he wants to be hated. He wants, We'll find out in the next episode. That, oh, no, it's this, this episode. This episode. Yeah, yeah he says, I've never done anything good, something like that. Right. I'm not a good person. Not a good person, yeah. Uh, so then Sawyer, so Sawyer runs to tell Locke that Jack is coming for the, that they're coming for the guns, and uh, Sawyer tells uh, tells Locke, yeah, you should change the combo. Yeah, but then <laughs> Sawyer, but then now here's where Locke is not rational. Right. He starts to right. panic because it's 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 Jack's involved. I think anybody else, if Jin was coming for the the guns or you know anybody else, Locke would have been, I think, sensible and said, okay. I'll I'll talk him out of it, but when it was Jack, because Jack knows the combination, right? If Jack wants again, he'll get in, he'll get those guns. I, I think it's because Jack wanted him, like you're saying. Going back to what you said, Sarah, the egos don't let these yeah. people. They don't think it's. I guess real life, you know. There's a lot of people like that where their egos get in the way and they don't think clearly. Um, but I thought it was a great scene because I remember at the time going, okay, this is this is not Jack's not going to be happy about this. Exactly. Yeah, Jack. Uh, when it when it comes to uh, Locke, Jack, he rarely thinks clearly. <laughs> yeah, and then we have Sawyer in a, re a restaurant, and who waits on Sawyer? Oh, Kate's mom. Kate's mom. Yeah, that's yeah. right. That's right. Yeah. So one of those little just quick scenes. Where you go, oh, Kate's mom. <laughs> did we know that at the time? Yes, or because we saw what Kate did. Yes. Okay. So eagle-eyed observers would, and I, I think this may be the only time her mom showed up in an episode that wasn't about Kate. Yes. I, I think so. I, I, I believe I so. I think I read that. Yeah. Yeah. And then Sawyer argues with Gordy saying, you know, I love her, you know, I this and that. And he goes, I'll, right. put, a, I'll put a bullet, I'll put one in your ear. Yeah. Yeah. And then, I'll, then I'll kill her. And so, I think, I think actually I'm thinking at the time, Oh, Sawyer's actually in love with somebody. Right, right. And he was conning you the whole time, Jack. He, he was. He conned me. <laughs> Sawyer. <laughs> <laughs> That's all that hair, right? Yeah. It, 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 well, it is frustrating. Oh my God. He does have nice hair. I mean, what are we going to do? Uh, let's see, well, uh, the whole the whole bare chest thing is another thing completely. So yeah, we'll get he, start on that. He, he's, and he's got the eye. I, well, I don't want to get too much into it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so then Sawyer says, you know, I'll punch the numbers in and he's punching the numbers in and, and, and Jack and Jim come in and go looking for Locke. And they go, well, what are you doing here? Right. <laughs> I, think he, I think he says he's playing Donkey Kong and, he, and all that. Right. Uh, he said, the guns are gone, Doc. Oh, and, yeah. And then Jack just, just you know, is, is just ticked that that, that happened. He, throw, he takes a, a painkiller and then throws in the rest. Yeah. Yes. That was great. That yeah, was so a, basically I, saying, yeah, I, I told you I'd get him back. That's right. The old screw you moment. Yeah. Yeah. I just said, uh, uh, and the, the, uh, you see right in that scene, the, the chemistry between the, those two actors is just, uh, I mean, I'd call it electrifying. It's just, right. man. You, you just, and, there's, and there's been times where they've had mutual respect that, that we see the scene earlier this season where, where uh, Sawyer tells uh, Jack about his dad, about how right. he met his dad and how his mm -hmm. dad, didn't, you know, didn't hate him. And it, it's a, it's a fantastic scene. It's just, you know, it's, it, yeah. I, you can't watch that scene and not tear up. And, but, it, but Sawyer, again, we find out he, he just doesn't want to be liked. Yeah. He, he really does not. And you talk about some deep seated uh, self-loathing issues. He's got them. Yeah. He does. And it, it's sad, but what are you going to do? And then you got Locke on the beach, and then Jack confronts him. Says, Where are the guns, yeah. Locke? <laughs> and, and then uh, we hear gunshots, and who has a gun? Sawyer. Sawyer has Sawyer's got the yep. gun. Not Katie. No, Sawyer's not got a gun. I love his speech. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> you went through that my was awesome. stuff. 
<laughs> well, I think it was more of like, you know, it, it was a respect thing. Yes, completely. You know, and he says there's a new sheriff in town, right? right. Yeah, it's like it's like now now you guys are going to respect me. Well, and he sort of t lets him know that he's teaching him a lesson because when he was off trying to get help on the uh, the raft, I guess it was right. They they took all his stuff. Yeah, shaving yeah. Cream, the battery. He said, "I don't need my shaving cream." Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> But, but guns. His, but his beer, and, and the hard one for me, you know, given given what I do, was the beer part that they took his beer. I just yeah. Who takes another man's beer? That's not, <laughs> that's not that's not right. That's that's uncalled for. But you can kind of see, even though the stuff he says it's his stuff, but it was stuff that was, you know, belonged to different Filford. people. Yeah. Yes. I mean, so you kind of say, oh, that's your stuff, but. Anyway, it, that's who Sawyer is. Go back to the off island thing. Uh, Sawyer tells Cassidy she was she was the long con, right? Sawyer tells her to go to Sioux Sioux City, wait for him there, and blah 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 blah. Uh, then we go back to Kate. Kate talks with Sawyer. He says, "You run, icon." Right, right. That's just that's. <laughs> I guess if you had like a little, uh, you know, like in a yearbook, your senior yearbook. Right. Under so, under Sawyer it says uh, icon. Icon. Under Kate it says I run. <laughs> yeah, and it, it's true. I mean, and she didn't really say anything. She goes, eh, "He's got me there." Yep. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Early is reading the bad uh, the uh, bad twin uh, manuscript. Ron, is that Ron Troop's uh, manuscript? The uh... I think the, it's the guy that got sucked into the yeah uh, yeah the, yeah right. Um, very painful, I guess, but. Uh, uh, Said shows uh, Hurley his radio. He has the radio all fixed up. We talked yes. about this earlier. The DJ's talking Duke Ellington, and then he plays some Glenn Miller. And then that's so we have that whole conversation with uh, Sawyer and not Sawyer, uh, Said and uh, Hurley. Yeah. Do, do you remember how uh, Glenn Miller's fate? That he, he died, actually he died, he died in a plane. He died in a plane crash. Right. They never found his body. He was flying over the English Channel during World War II, and he disappeared, kind of like. A certain oceanic flight just so disappeared. He, he could be with Amelia Earhart, right? He could. He, he could, could be. He could be on the other side of the island right now. Yeah. He he yeah. stayed. He stayed on. They drew a line. He stayed on his side. <laughs> <laughs> and he's still playing big band tunes to this day. <laughs> and then we have Sawyer and Tar uh, Charlie talking, and we find out that Charlie was working with Sawyer. Oh, oh, man, Charlie. Again, uh, I I think you said Sarah uh, Charlie off. Sawyer offers Charlie the heroin. He says, if I wanted, I would have taken it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, at least I, he didn't do that. He doesn't want it. He just wanted Locke to look like a fool. Yeah. And I don't think that's, that's not enough reason for what he did. Absolutely not. Especially, especially hurting son physically. That's just. No, it just wasn't. No call for it. But even, even, go ahead, Sarah. And, and Charlie has to check it out with Sawyer to make sure that he's not going to tell that he's, the one that took son. Right. Because you can tell he doesn't quite trust him. Well, would you trust Sawyer at this point? If you're Charlie? There's no way. I wouldn't have done I wouldn't have done it. Right, right. Exactly. Not what I mean I wouldn't, you know, I realize it's just part of the script, but of all the people to work with, why would you work with the least trustworthy person on the on the on the island? Except to get on their good side so Hopefully they'll help you and not turn against you. But Sawyer has proven over and over again that he just can't be trusted. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> until, he, until he meets Juliet, and then he changes. Um, I was going to say it's what season five. He finally starts yes. turning the corner a little bit. He starts, yeah, starts turning the corner. His heart grew three and a half sizes that day. Um, but I, I do like the fact that it, it's a great scene. Again, it's it. it I remember at the time being bummed that it was Charlie. Like, oh, yeah, Charlie. yeah, me too. It just because Sawyer, you get it. Sawyer, yeah, I, I'm cool with that because he's he's a terrible person. But you expect better from Charlie, right? Right. Well, maybe you. Uh, I think that's just part of the whole arc of Charlie's descent. Yeah. So you maybe earlier would have expected more of Charlie, but the the longer this goes, the less we expect of Charlie. Plus, if you're Charlie, would you want Jen finding out that you did it? Uh, no, <laughs> that would not be good. Cause that's he's uh, Jin would kill you. Sure. Charlie, would in a heartbeat. 
Um, let's see, uh, Sawyer takes has the cash. Uh, um, Cassie's out the cash, and then but Sawyer tells Charlie he goes he goes I'm, like we said earlier I'm not a good person, mm -hmm. and that's how it ends. That's right. So overall, did you like the episode? Oh yeah, this oh, was perfect. For uh, I put it up against some of the better ones in season one. Mm -hmm. um, I really, really enjoyed it, and it uh, uh, it sets up a lot of uh, a lot of what's going to happen later in season two as well. And I, uh, I I think it gets us geared up for the Saeed episode to come. Yeah, I think it, it did. It, it, it's a perfect follow up to this episode, the next one. Yeah, they both did because we were saying last week that uh, the two episodes we reviewed the fire and plus water didn't really have any, it just was kind of just hanging there. It just wasn't really worth, it just was, it was one of, it's not one of the best episodes of lost. Mm -hmm. Right. Of right. All time. Uh, but the next one we're talking about one of them as good as the long con was this episode. I I'll say it. It was, was better. Uh, I think uh, a whole level better just because yeah. everything just clicked in this episode. It did. Plus, uh, we we were introduced to Michael Emerson, who took this show to. As, yeah. I mean, it's hard to say. This show was already phenomenal, you know, an amazing show, but he took it to the next level. Oh, no doubt, no doubt. And to think that that this was just going to be a limited character arc. Six, uh, six, right. six, six episodes. Like, yeah. yeah. Six so he, episodes. Yeah, and the, the the fact that he just blew him away, and they're like, well, we can't let this guy get away, and and we all benefited. Uh, even to the uh, finale party, because uh, yes. if I remember right, uh, Mr. Emerson uh, came and shared the stage with you guys for a little he, bit. He was there, yeah, and he was uh, he's a very nice guy. Very, uh, just uh, I don't know if he was acting. He could have been acting. He could have, he could be a terrible person, but he was, <laughs> he, was a, he was a nice guy that night. Um, he's such a great, he's such a fantastic actor and a great storyteller. He, he just did we, there. did we get to interview him? We did. At, when when at he was Comic -Con? on when he was on person of interest a few years later, uh, we got to go do a press panel with him, and uh, we were part of press pool. We got to ask questions of him. That was a lot of fun. He was fun. He was very gracious. Yeah, he just was uh, him and and who was his co-star? The oh Fusco, I, Fusco was at his table. Fusco, I think. but I, I'm thinking Caviezel, the, uh, 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 Jim Caviezel. Yeah, Caviezel, yeah, yeah. He was really good. They, they were all. The, uh, my experience with the the actors on a lot of these shows is that they're very professional and, and very easy to talk to because, I mean, that's if you're going to do this sort yeah. of profession, you would hope that you want to please people. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Like I said, he's such a great actor. He could just be faking it. but you know, we, we <laughs> <laughs> That's true. We could all be snowed under. He could I, be I playing got, a long con on us. I actually got to meet him twice at both times. I actually spoke to him once uh, on another podcast. Um and every time he's been really nice, but again, he's won Emmys. I don't think he could be just happy. <laughs> uh, exactly. This starts off with Saeed and the other Iraqi soldiers are burning the papers. U.S. troops come in. Uh, Saeed tells them because they're going to shoot. They're going to shoot one of the guys. They're, they're still shredding, right? Uh, the papers, and he tells them, "Stop! They're going to shoot you." And who comes in? Who's one of the soldiers? Kate's daddy. Kate's dad. So we have Kate's mom in the, and Kate's in the long dad. Con. Kate's, yeah, it's just uh, I remember the time going, and also we get Kelvin later on. So yeah, like, well, when when Kelvin showed up, I'm like, oh my god, it's Kelvin. But we don't we don't know Kelvin until later on this season that Kelvin was in the hatch. Right. We, we know right. it now because we've you know we've seen the show a hundred times. Yeah. But it's just it's it's so funny how they they just they just do that is it. I think they did it mainly just to mess with our minds. I think they succeeded. Yeah, they did. <laughs> they were very good at that. And Alicia runs in to find, find Jack. She sees Saeed. So now that's that, that awkward moment where, you know. Right. But Saeed, uh, they, and he sees Rousseau. He tells Annalise, go back and don't tell anybody what you saw. <laughs> right. <laughs> and, and for Annalisea who doesn't take anybody's crap. She listened. Well, the way the intensity with which he uh, said that to her, um, I would probably think about uh, twice not doing what uh, he said would be bad for my health. Yeah. 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 Cause usually she's going to do what she wants to do. Yeah. Oh, totally. But not with Saeed. 
Nope. Plus, Saeed already, you know, she's he's already got a reason to kill her anyway. It doesn't have to be another reason, right? Yeah, I think that's just uh, uh, really just the throwing more uh, gasoline on the fire. But Saeed had this look the whole episode. He did it to Jack. He did it to Locke. He did it. He did it with Rousseau. He he had that still, you know, this that's blank stare where if you if you mess with me, I'm going to snap your neck. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like the ber- the berserker thing. Yeah. Scary. You don't know where he's gonna what he's gonna do. Yeah. Now, Naveen Andrews was excellent in this episode. I, it's it's he just you believe that he was the guy that would snap your neck if he, if if you crossed him in this this thing. Uh, they he sees Rousseau and Rousseau gives him you know she's so she gives him his gun. And, and yeah. He, and he says, if, if I'm wrong, you can use it on me. But he does, <laughs> okay. check to make, he does check to make sure that there's bullets in there and it, it does work. <laughs> so you're thinking, <laughs> is he really going to shoot her? If something goes wrong. Um, but they have going back off Island. Kate's dad is telling Saeed, we need you to translate. So Saeed says he, and then and of course, Tariq, the, the, the commander doesn't know where the pilot is. So lies, lies. Then we had a we had a fun side story. Say uh, Sawyer in is being uh, driven crazy by a tree frog. Oh, that was funny. Yeah, it was it was funny until the very end when it wasn't. Yeah, no. poor tree <laughs> no, frog. No, no spoilers. We'll get there. <laughs> but I like how Jin walks by. He's going off fishing. Yeah. And Sawyer's trying to talk to him. We're no longer friends. <laughs> Right, <laughs> it's like it's like really Sawyer. You think that you guys are going to be buddy buddy? Again, he had, he, he finally had a pretty good relationship with Michael and yes. Jen, and now it's all it's all been torn. It's like he can't. He wants everyone to be as miserable as him, and he, well, just, he wants to be hated. I think he does. Yeah, yeah. Not not only miserable, but but he wants people to actively dislike him for some reason. I guess, but again, because he feels so bad about himself that. He feels like he deserves for people to hate him. Oh, he well, just doesn't want to get close enough to care. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think like, like you're saying, I think he, it also makes it easier for him to do what he wants to do. Yeah. To be sure. Who he sure. Is. You know, if I'm screwing you over, if I, I, if you don't, you hate me, it's easier for me to screw you over. His mindset. Well, I, think, I think that goes back for me. It goes back to him turning over the picture of him and Cassidy in the previous episode. Right. Right. You know, he he really almost cared about her. Almost, and then then kind of later then, on would, and then turned the turned it the picture over, over, yeah. So she can't see him, right? And yeah. he can't see. He her. can't see her, yeah. I think deep down, I think he did care about her. I I think on a certain level, uh, yeah. At, at that stage, because we, uh, you know, later on they get reentangled. I mm-hmm. guess, yeah. Um, or never were untangled, like, <laughs> but, he, but, but he didn't know that. No, he didn't know at the time. No. Right, right. Um, Sawyer catches Hurley with the with his food stash, the the ranch dressing. Oh yeah, and then he goes on that uh, that series of uh, super insults about uh, Hurley's size that right. got increasingly, uh, I guess, nasty. Yeah, yeah, insulting. Sure. And then Hurley, why, why do you think why do you think he was doing that uh, again? Just trying to distance himself from somebody else by by being so belligerent, or uh, what do you think is going on in Sawyer's head right there to to just start being so mean to Hurley of all people, who's the nicest person on the island? I think you you called it because he had a pretty good relationship with Hurley. Him and Hurley did get along. I mean, Hurley was t- a couple episodes. Sawyer was giving him advice about how to go after Libby. You know. And so, mm-hmm. like, so there, there was as close as anyone could be with Sawyer. Hurley was actually, at least they were, you know, friendly with each yeah. other. But I think, right. like you said, he wants every, at this point, he just wants to be hated. Yeah. And he, he's That's so right. full, of, he's so full of anger that I don't think, I don't even think he's doing it intentionally. It's just who he is. All right. It's just his anger. But he does apologize. Yeah. Because Hurley says, that, I, you never see him apologize to anybody else as I can remember. Yeah. No. Well, he says, screw it. Uh, tell the people that the, the fat guy wants, has, has his food stash. The fat guy like this, I don't care. Fine. And that's what, like you said, he does. Sawyer does say Hurley or he, does he call him Hugo or Hurley? 
Uh, I'm uh, not sure. I can't remember. He, he, but he does call him with. He didn't call him Jumbo or another. He, he called right. him by his name. Now is he just conning uh, Hurley at this point because he needs to find that tree frog? Um, or is maybe. he? Or is but he really I think sincere? sincere. Yeah. I th I think he's sincere. Maybe it's a little of both because that that frog is driving him crazy. But I think of all the people to be mean to on the island, um, I, Sawyer, as we learn later on, does have some sort of heart to yeah. him, and maybe maybe we just get a, we're getting just a little Clips. sliver of it. Yeah. All right. I I don't want to get conned again by Sawyer, so I'm I'm leaning that he just <laughs> he just was being just wanted help with the. Uh, <laughs> but I could be wrong. I mean, he does. Uh, Sawyer, we fought, does, like you said, he does have a heart. Uh, Said hears someone yelling. Uh, Russo says it's another. He says uh, he's he's uh, Henry Gale from Minnesota. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I uh, looking back at this, I had forgotten the um, parallel that they used for this uh, for uh, Henry Gale's story. To be the Wizard of Oz. Oh yeah, right. Yeah. yeah. So you know what? You know what threw me uh, watching this again to to say, okay, this guy is totally not from Minnesota because he couldn't say Minnesota. He didn't say it right. <laughs> no, Minnesota. <laughs> yeah, I know people from Minnesota, and they they don't talk like Henry Gale was talking. No, they don't. So it was clearly not. Uh, he was he was probably from Long Island. But Said wouldn't know because he's not. I don't. Maybe Said's never been to Minnesota. He probably hasn't. Now that you say, that. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm just not a. He's just not a, a lot of call for uh, 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 Iraqi torturers in uh, Minnesota. No, no, no. They're tortured enough with the Vikings, right? <laughs> Obviously. Uh, I'm sorry. I, I apologize. I don't even have a team anymore. So, if you're a Vikings <laughs> fan, I apologize. It was a cheap shot, and <laughs> but well, I had we, to. We, yes, we won't get into your your sad history with the NFL. No, uh, we don't. We don't want to do that. Uh, and then Said cuts him down, and uh, Henry at this time, I guess we can call him Henry, starts to run, and Rousseau has her crossbow, and she shoots him. Yeah. That was and, nice. And at this point, Said, it's, it's weird because Said has compassion for the guy. Yeah, like, that, you know, that is weird. What are you, what are you doing? You know, she goes, if I, want him, <laughs> if I want him to be dead, he'd be dead. Yeah. True. The French woman does not miss when she's uh, she, wanting to be she accurate. She carefully missed his heart. Yes. Yeah. Uh, then Said uh, takes him to go to Jack. We go back, and then we uh, Said is talking with Kelvin. So yes. And so there's another. Uh, we don't know yet, but if that's be, hey, that's the guy who was talking to Said. Right. Yeah, I think money. they just they just call him the man in this yeah. episode. Yeah, they do. Yeah. Uh, he shows him. Uh, What's happening? What uh, Tariq had done in a, a village that um, Said had relatives there and friends. Oh, the gas and everything, gassing yeah. and killing them and stuff. And then he gives them a torture kit. Right, right. Go to, to town. Get, yeah, <laughs> we need to get this information now. Do you really think that did Tariq actually do that, or was it were they conning Said into doing it and just saying that he did it as part of it? Um, th they present Tariq as a pretty bad guy. Yeah. Uh, uh, no, know, knowing what we've seen about the uh, the peripheral things we see of the armed forces and the Said flashbacks, maybe maybe it's true, maybe it's not. Okay. Maybe, maybe they're just using them to uh, extract the information because they figure uh, this guy'll do it because he doesn't want to die. Right. I just always wondered about that. Saying, do we know for sure if he? I mean, and you know. He he had the files on each one of them, but you didn't, he seem like kind of a low level guy to be directing, like gassing a, a village. It did seem like that to me, but yeah, I, yeah. you know, so he bought it and, you know, he did get the information that he wanted. It just wasn't, you know, exactly what on. Uh, Said shows up and shows him, uh, wakes up John and shows him a bloody Henry. Yeah. Well, who's that? <laughs> who's bloody Henry? Is that a drink? Yeah, Bloody Henry. <laughs> Bloody Henry, yes. And this is where Said is also telling John, he's telling John what is going to happen. Right. Yeah, he's not, you know, yeah. he's not, he's not, you know, letting John dictate what's going on. Said was basically controlling every, all the everything that happened in this episode, Said controlled. 
Yeah, it was, uh, it, I think, uh, Kelvin at the end, uh, which we'll get to that whole comment about, uh, you know, you've learned something that can help you someday and, uh, it's going to totally pay off in this episode for him. Although does it really pay off because, um, how the episode ends? We'll get there. Uh, he, he does, because Saeed's asking a question. He says, uh, he and his wife crashed, uh, in a hot air balloon. He says his wife got a, uh, died, passed away. She got sick and died. He got sick and died. Yeah, were were you buying uh, you as the viewer, Jack? Were you buying what he was saying right there? I never believed it. I, I never yeah. believed it because, I, you know, we we know that the others. It just it's, it's it seems sketchy. No, I didn't know he was going to be this main character. I think, but I, I do remember thinking, okay, this guy's not who he says he is. Exactly, and and, then, and I think um, why would um. Oh, what's her name? Which one? The that caught Henry Gale. Oh, uh, uh, Danielle. Uh, Rousseau. Danielle, yeah, Rousseau. That she, I don't know that she would have captured him had she thought he was decent. I don't know. It looked like one of those things, like he sprung the trap or something. Uh, maybe. Do you think that was one of those automatic traps that she had set in there? I, I, I think it was one of her automatic traps that she sets up. Through all oh, over yeah, there. yeah, that's what I figured. Also, remember too, she did that to she did torture because Jack makes a good point saying that you know, you know, Rousseau tortured you, <laughs> right? <laughs> Hooked up the batteries and stuff like that. So yeah, uh, yeah. Jack, Ouch time. Jack walks in and he tells uh, the side tells him, "Do not untie him." And Which Jack, was smart. Jack goes, okay, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm backing down. Um, there you go again. Uh, Saeed's completely controlling the actions in the episode. Yeah, he is. I mean, because for Jack, to, you got John, who has, we talked about earlier. John has an ego. Jack has an ego. But both of them back down to Saeed. Yep. They just said, I'd nice. back down to Saeed. <laughs> Seriously, when he gets that dead look in his eyes, hey, Saeed, you're good, man. Whatever yeah. you want to do. <laughs> Uh, Jack pulls the arrow out, which had which had to hurt. Oh yeah! Didn't it make you feel like a, a little good that you saw Ben Linus in pain? Honestly, <laughs> yeah. Well, he well, I you didn't know it at the time. I'm talking about now because you know what oh, he's going to oh, do now. Yeah, you, you you're happy for it now, but <laughs> time you're thinking, man, that that had it it had to hurt because it's sure it, it wasn't he fiberglass. So innocent. <laughs> <laughs> he, he did. He, he, Oh, woe is me. And then you have Saeed tells Locke to change the combo because Jack will have a problem with what Saeed is going to do. Mm -hmm. Which always cracks me because Saeed, remember Jack had no problem with Saeed uh, torturing Sawyer. Right. Well, of course, there, there's your ego thing, though, because he, he hated Sawyer at that point already. So, yeah, yeah, let's cause that guy a little pain. Well, I like how Saeed, I mean... um Locke asked Saeed what he was going to do that Jack would be upset about. And Saeed just says what needs to be done. Yep. There you go. Yep. No more, no less. No. <laughs> and then they put Henry in the the armory. Saeed locks the door behind him. What are you doing? And Jack's banging on the thing and Locke's like going, oh, well, you know. Uh, oops. <laughs> well, see, well, see, woo. Um, and then we have Saeed. He gets the information out of the... Uh, the other guy. Uh, yeah, I, think, I thought it was so clever that um, Saeed just completely destroyed Henry Gale's uh, story about burying his wife. How many shovelfuls? Oh yeah, there at the end. How deep? Yeah. And well, I think he, I think he was he was obviously talking about Shannon. Right. Right. Exactly. Because he had just gone through yeah. that. I guess in the in the timeline, maybe that's like within a week. Maybe? Yeah, maybe yeah. a week, maybe ten days. Top. Right. Right. Um, is uh, well. Then we have Locke tells Jack uh, he changed the combo, and he says, "Oh, you're." That, I guess I got ahead of myself in the last episode. He says, "You were raising an army." Didn't tell me. There you go. Right. So Locke, so Locke always has that. Well, you didn't tell me. Neener, mm -hmm. neener. Yep. Well, and he's got Locke's got kind of a, a as you pointed out for for years. He's got a slight inferiority complex. Yeah, he does. Uh, <laughs> which, which gets him killed ultimately. It does. Yeah, it, it does. It's 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 
it's a shame. Like it, he had a second chance on the island and he didn't take advantage of it. No. Uh, Said is questioning Henry. Henry says he was on the beach. Said tells Henry to become he became a torturer. Uh, and we go, Sawyer catches a frog. And Hurley goes, well, I'll take that frog a couple beaches over. It won't bother anymore. And, and Sawyer goes, I got another idea. And he crushes the frog. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That <sighs> was awful. I had totally I, forgotten that. So when we're watching, I'm like, no, don't do it. Don't. Oh. oh. <laughs> and I, I remember Jorge saying that he got a lot of hate mail. Or people were upset. Jorge did? Yeah, he was, people were upset that they that they would he would they would allow the frog. He goes, it wasn't a real frog. I mean, it was just <laughs> the people were upset that the frog was killed, but it wasn't. Um, then you know, Sawyer as uh, Locke is cleaning up the uh, not Locke, uh, Jack's cleaning up the blood, and uh, Locke comes over. Hey, do you need some help? And, Locke, <laughs> and, and, and Jack just goes, "Shut up." <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> At this point, they just don't like each other. It, it's completely, it's, really it's, don't. completely don't like each other. They're, whatever relationship they had in season one, it's gone. They just they don't respect each other. They don't like each other. It's it's tit for tat. They're, they're going against each other. It's 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 actually. You know, we were saying earlier how how Matthew Fox and Josh Holloway work well together, but also Terry O'Quinn and Matthew. Fox. Oh yeah. Work well together. It just it's just great acting going all around going on right now. Uh, he tells then uh, you know, Henry tells Sight about the balloon. It's you know we were going across you know, we across the Pacific. I was rich, and but he says I was rich. Right. So he catches yeah. he catches Henry Gale in a lie. Already, yeah. He does tell him there's a uh, the balloon has a uh, smiley face on top. Yeah, because everything he's saying about the balloon is true. Yes, because they're that balloon. Uh, it's like two or three episodes from now they'll find the balloon, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Said so uh, has the wrench on uh, Henry L's fingers. Oh, that was fun. What? Yeah, he had that. Yeah. He had the like the pliers or whatever. He's getting ready yeah. to. Oh gosh! Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, uh. I'm like, I can take the frog, but I can't take the <laughs> crunch. Yeah. And then that's where, you, like you said, Sarah, he goes, you will remember, you, he goes about his wife, you remember your love. You, uh, and it's, you know, because then he, he's obviously talking about Shannon because you remember every, every, every shovel, every, how deep, how many, how long it took you. And, yeah. And Henry, I, I don't he think couldn't it, he couldn't answer it. And I, it's great, again, great acting on both actors. Yeah. Because, because you could see that Henry Gale, Ben, knows that he's been found out found out yes because of the situation he's squirming he's squirming at this point and then Saeed, at this point it just he gives uh ben his first beating of many beatings he's gonna have on <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah some, somewhere in there uh henry asks him who he was and he said, As "Who Saeed is?" Saeed. Yeah. And he right. said, "My name is Saeed Jara, and I am a torturer." Right. <laughs> hey, em embrace your path. I guess is kind of what the, we're yeah. learning and, here. Well, and if I heard that, I'd be like, "Here's the truth. Yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you everything." Yeah, I'm Ben. I'm running the others, and but he probably, <laughs> I think Saeed would have killed him because obviously Saeed blames the others more than Analysia for killing Shannon. Sure. Yeah. Well, that's, what, it, I, that's what this whole anger of this whole episode was because he was still upset with the others. Right. Yeah. If he knew it was, if he knew it was, he was the, not only an other, the other, the leader, yeah, the leader. Uh, yeah. The one that, yeah. you know, main guy. Yeah. Uh, th then we hear the alarm going off. Jack uh, lock starts to go and, and then, but Jack pins him up against the wall saying it's, you know, you're not going anywhere. Give me. And so Did, they're playing a little game of poker going back and forth. Did it remind you of all? Uh, of, you remember the movie, the the Michael Keaton Batman with Jack Nicholson as the Joker? Yes. Uh, it just reminded me of that one thing when uh, Joker goes into Bruce Wayne's uh, palatial Wayne Manor and uh, he's threatening him, and uh, Bruce Wayne goes over and grabs like a fire poker, and he's like, "You want to get nuts?" And it reminded me of, of Jack going. Uh, you know, the, the alarm's getting ready to start sounding and the, the numbers are turning and it's going to the higher glyphs. Yeah. yeah. And, and Jack's like crazy enough to, let's see if it's going to happen. You know, it just uh, <laughs> struck me as Jack's getting a little unhinged about uh, whether or not you really have to be in the hatch or not and, and put the numbers in. 
Yeah, I think he's doubting that you have to. Oh, well, I, no I doubt. Think, I think what he says, he says, you convinced me to push those numbers. Right. Goes, but now it's your thing. Now and he goes, I don't care. I don't think right, anything, right. I, don't, I don't think anything is going to happen because I think at this point, what we've been saying his his distrust for Locke is 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 reached its peak. He doesn't. Mm -hmm. he, he, he has no respect for Locke at this point. So anything Locke's going to, he goes, I don't care. I because yeah. Jackson uh, Locke says, you're willing to risk everyone's lives on this island. He goes, I don't think anything's going to happen if you don't push those numbers. And so and Locke, so Locke goes, he goes. So Locke tries to give him the combination. He goes, What do you think? I'm stupid. <laughs> uh no comment yeah that's open, what Locke should have said. open it so lock opens the door runs over he, he's he's not good under pressure no and we see he's a whole not. different we see something different on yeah. the number. and i remember when that happened oh my god that was just like people going crazy people yeah just, it was all the hieroglyph stuff yeah and, and there was it, the, the, yeah, your heart stops. Yeah, this this episode had so much of the where you're like going, okay, you had that, you had this new character. You're like, there's so much going on in this episode that's just like, oh my god, it's amazing. So, uh, hey, question question about the hieroglyphs. I mean, that goes like all the way back to Mother and the penultimate episode, right? Because it was right. like ancient Egypt with Jacob oh. and, and the Man in Black, and yeah, I, I wonder if that was just kind of a fun thing, a tease. Yeah, for years later. Well, at least it, 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 it's something. It, there's no wasted scenes in Lost, right? No, exactly. Uh, then I like the fact that when they're, they're, Jack goes in there, he stops. He stops the site from killing uh, Ben or Henry, whatever you want to call him at this point. And then you have that Henry and Said stare. Oh yeah, yeah. That yeah was, and that was, and he always kind of smiles, right, Henry? Yeah, he's got that yeah. little little corner of his. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that I seeing, that, seeing that the first time and thinking, oh, this, this guy is bad. So what, so what, what, what do you think? think? What would the trajectory of the show have been if they had decided to let him decide to kill Henry Henry? And there was, and there was no Ben Linus. Um, how, how different do you think the show would have been? That would have been a completely different series. Yeah, yeah. Would have been a lot different. Yeah, yeah. But we didn't, but see, we didn't that. see that's an alternate version. That's, 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 that's an alternate version. Yeah, yeah. Um, um, I'm sorry, I'm getting sorry. a little, I was getting static. No, no. Still getting static, but I can still figure it out. Um, yeah, it would, it would have been a completely different show without uh, Ben Linus in there. Again, it changed, it changed the game, having him in. Yeah, season. yeah. Well, and the fact that he wasn't even a regular, regular at this point, he was a guest yes. for, for um, how long? How long? Supposed to be six. Episodes. Episodes. He was supposed to be on six episodes. Okay. Okay. And was it was it was it was on it purpose, purpose, or did they decide as they went along that he was too good to let go? I think the because remember, Lost took so much time off. So uh -huh. I think, it, and plus the fan, you know, you had podcasts going on, and you had message boards and mice. Yeah, so much social media that, at the time. Yeah, um, yeah. That people loved the character, and they said, like I think uh, you said, Chip, we got to find a way to keep this guy. Yeah, no doubt. Uh, Kate's. I like how Kate. You know, the Saeed's being in a truck with a bunch of soldiers, and Kate's dad is looking at a picture. At his young, a young Kate. Oh yeah, I, I think that's actually a picture of Evangeline. Uh, the actual picture yeah. of her. Yeah. yeah. Uh, they take Sight out of the truck. Kelvin talks to him and says, "You know, okay." And and Sight says, "I'll never do that again. I'll never torture anyone again. That's not who I am." And and uh, and Kelvin's like, "Yeah, you'll do it again." <laughs> well, is that the thing that the the guy said? You've learned something that you'll use again. Yeah, yeah and he says it in Arabic. Yeah. Yeah. You've got a that new cool. you got a new you got a new job waiting for you. Uh, yeah. And then we we go back to the thing as I tells he's talking about uh, he's talking with Charlie. Uh -huh. And I thought this was an amazing scene. I thought I remember at the time I, I again you have that Saeed is dictating this whole episode what's what's going on and he tells Charlie, "Oh, we got a man in the hatch. I beat him up pretty good. You know, I got the truth out of him." Uh, and so, and he says that both Locke and Jack had forgotten what happened to you, Charlie. What happened to other? What happened to Shannon? They, they've forgotten who the mm -hmm. others are and how bad they are. 
But then he, he turns to Charlie. I think he knows that Charlie was involved with Sawyer. Yeah, I think, think that, I think it's clear. Uh, that's why he's telling him that. Right. Yeah. You think that's goes, a warning? I think it was because he goes, did you forget Charlie? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, totally. So he, he knows he knows the when people are lying. And I think that he knew at that point that I, I just think the way he looked at Charlie and the way Charlie looked back is, uh oh. Yep. Saeed knows. Right. Uh, so I think he was a warning saying, okay, you need to change your ways and, you know, you're with us, not them mm-hmm. type of thing. But then he, overall, that, that was the end of the episode. And what did we think of this episode? Awesome. Two thumbs up. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, I, I thought this was a great episode. I, you know, I forgot how good it was. You know, you forget how good each episode is. Like I said, like I said, the long con was really good, and then you go, "Oh, I, I, I first started watching." Oh, that's right. We see Emerson in this one, and it's it's just and Said is and Naveen Andrews is so good in this episode. Um, actually, all the actors are it's it's they're good all the time, but it it, it just was a fantastic episode. The flashback was good. Uh, you had a lot of at the time. You had this open up. Okay, Kate's dad's there. Oh my gosh, uh, you know the the numbers and everything else going on. But I right, fantastic episode. Of oh yeah, acting wise, uh, yeah. it's one of those tour de force episodes where everybody's just spot on. And and Naveen, uh, he was just incredible. And yeah, I uh, you know I was always a big Saeed fan. Yeah, and well, not only are the actors great, but the roles they're playing each of those characters the writers really did a good job right yeah yeah and uh th- i love i love how they're folding uh, even though we didn't know and they didn't know at the time that uh ben was going to be such a big character it's great seeing this little bitty origin and just this hint of the evil to come that with, smile with that smile at the end when he looks uh. at saeed is just priceless and you yeah. have to think maybe that's when they said all right, we got to find, we got to find more for this guy to do. Yeah. Oh yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Because it, it, you know, you have, you have guest stars on shows and stuff like that, but this guy was just, again, he's we've talked about a hundred times. He's just an amazing, talented actor. Oh yeah. yeah it's like yeah, we got to find we got to find, and plus the it was it wasn't like Nikki and Paul where people right away said, okay, I'm I'm not buying these two. You know, this guy comes out of, you know, nowhere and becomes a main character. And again, I think it changed it changed the show. Sure. Well, it, it just it, it evolved organically. And Nikki Paolo was just, hey, we're just going to throw a couple of main characters like from the get go. And everybody knows them, even though we haven't seen them ever. Um, whereas wrong, wrong show for that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Too bad there's no one obsessed about the every nuance of this show and would be able to pick them out of uh, a background lineup from season one if they you, were. You could do that on the new, new Hawaii Five O, and people wouldn't care. Probably not. It's not the same kind of audience. No, but you can't do that for Lost. You can't, you, could, you just can't throw it in there and say you couldn't do that on Breaking Bad. You couldn't. You couldn't do that on a lot of shows where all of a sudden this kid. Wait, they, they've been here the whole time. We just didn't see them. Yeah. Totally, yeah. totally yeah. not acceptable. Yeah, no. and it, it's funny how they—it's—it's it's, of all the all the things they did right. Why did they make that mistake? Yeah, I don't—I I don't know. Maybe they were drinking one night and they thought, <laughs> <laughs> "What a great idea yeah. this would be! We'll just make up two main characters yeah. out of nowhere that no one's ever heard of for three yeah. years." Yeah, yeah. Gannett said a hundred times they should have just been on another part of the island. Totally, that would have completely worked. Yeah, I, I don't know why they didn't think about that. I don't know. Uh, but I guess I think drinking was involved. Yeah, probably <laughs> probably a lot of drinking. But <laughs> anyway, any end of thoughts you guys have about the lost and uh I I approve uh both of these episodes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I am Chip Mims and I approve both episodes. So there <laughs> there you go. It's election season's coming up. I, I really, really liked both of them and it reminded me why I loved this whole series so much because they did so many things such detail Mm -hmm. um and and still leave you hanging and wanting more that was the thing about the the whole show was you'd watch an episode and you couldn't wait till next week right it it really does remind me because it's been a couple years since we've watched any of the episodes uh truly how this is lightning in a bottle 
Uh, and there have been other programs that we've loved uh, that have uh -huh. come on since then. But it's it's kind of like Lost is the granddaddy of all the great things that that followed. So it's wonderful to go back and see the original stuff and remind yourself, oh, well, it's common to like really get deep dive into the background of characters. Uh, but back then, you know, all these flashbacks and you really get to know these people in a way that had never been on television. I, yeah. I, it's just it's remarkable. And it was great to be able to watch both these. Yeah. Plus, it's a show that would keep you up at night. Yeah. I mean, I yeah. Maybe that. maybe that's where you insomnia started. All yeah, it, it could it could be because I, I can remember sitting there going, going, you know, we'd record the podcast and but then I'd be sitting there thinking, I go, oh, I should talk about this, should talk about because there was your head starts, you know, your mind uh -huh. starts going, and then you I'd watch it again and again, you know, but still it's like there was no show I I've watched would watch like three times in one week, right? You know, I'd watch I've seen I've seen Deadwood a thousand times, but. I didn't watch the same episode three times in one, you know, in one yeah. week. It just, it, it just is an amazing, amazing television show. And I'm glad, you know, glad. Yeah. And the thing about watching it three times is you got rewarded every time by, you would see something you didn't see the first two yeah. times. Exactly. Yeah. Cause it was that, it was that deep. Yeah. Cause I, I don't think at the time when I was watching this episode, I thought, okay, Shannon, he, he's talking about Shannon when he's talking about the, but the more you, you learn about his character and how much he cared about her and stuff like that. It just, again, great. It, it's just great writing, great music, great directing, great acting. Absolutely. Fantastic. Top notch. Job. Top notch. Yeah. Big fun. All right, guys. Thanks for joining. Thanks for well, having yeah, us. Yeah. We had a blast. If you ever uh, look for more people uh, to watch lost, oh. Sign us up because we'll okay. definitely have you on again. And, and Chip, love seeing your arm. And now we just we're not even we're just getting a piece of it right now. But, uh, there, there's a hand there, so here, I'll stick my head over. <laughs> there you go. Now you guys can see what Chip looks like. <laughs> there you go. Well, okay. this was fun. Thanks yes. for having us. Thank you, Jack. Oh, no we really appreciate it. Thanks for joining. And okay. I, it's nice seeing you guys again. It's been a while. Yeah. Yeah, it, it really has. Well, we need to get together sometime soon. We we shall. Yeah, and, then, and uh, maybe I, I, maybe I can take your car. <laughs> <laughs> I, I do have a two seater now, so it'll just have to be you and Cindy this time. You do oh, okay, know that he yeah. drives. He drives a, a, a Thunderbird. That's right. Yeah, I, yeah. A, I have seen the Thunderbird. Yeah, yeah. Excellent. I, I'll take that. It's fine. Yeah, it's not a must. <laughs> That's fine. It. I I just had it serviced. Uh, I got a full tank of gas. Just you know, have have them bring it around. You'll be fine. Oh, nice. Yeah. That'd be <laughs> Big enjoy right there. All right, guys. All right, man. Take Bye. it easy. Thanks.